I'm Glenn Matlock and you're watching Season Zero. Season Zero! Greetings, kids. Welcome to Season Zero. We are welcoming back to the show once again, Glenn. Hello. Matlock. How you doing? Legendary bass player. The original bass player of the Sex Pistols. He's an the one that could though. play. And he plays acoustic guitar. And you know what? The well. thing about a lot of these people that are still touring Vegas and stuff like that, being like, remember who I am? I wrote that song. This guy plays a full set of songs that he's wrote all over the years, not just Sex Pistols, he's been in a Rich Kids, he's been Iggy Pop, he's been a solo artist. The Faces. Yeah, The Faces, this guy's the Primal real deal. Primal Scream for one night. Primal Scream for one, one night. night. Pretty things for one night. I've, I've, I've Primal Screamed for one night because of various things, but uh, he, was, he was in the band. Yeah. You, you were in town not that long ago, what brings you back so soon? Well, it was about a year ago. Yeah. Um, I mean, they play us quite well, believe it or not. Yeah. That's always a good um, thing, but I like traveling, getting around. And, Come to Canada I, I, next time. I think I'm gonna come when it's a bit warmer. Since we talked last time, literally since the time we turned off the camera last, I bought his book and I read his book front to back in about two days. Not because it's a short book, because it's very captivating. My favorite part of the book is the revised version where you talked about the '96 tour. Right. Uh, yeah, coming back, I was I was gripping. Dude, I just convinced them to what buy was the book too. About it? Oh, just I had no idea how the tour came together, whose idea it was. Like literally, you're like, and I got the phone call, and I'm like, and what did the phone call say? <laughs> Seriously, everyone, if you can buy his book, I was a teenage sex pistol. It is fantastic. The revised version with the yellow cover where he's there and they're there. It's fucking wicked. But you know what? If you like that, there's another book that's just coming out. Really? It's, yeah, it's just coming out in England, and it's called um, Glenn Matlock's Filthy Lucas Scrapbook. And it's loads of pictures I took on that tour, just my own personal private pictures, but traveling around the world. And not many people have seen the Sex Pistols at Osaka Aquarium on the day off. Okay. So it's kind of interesting. Is it Johnny Run and beach shorts and uh, flip flops? No, he does. He's not that guy. He's not a beach short and flip flop kind of guy. Um, out of all the songs besides Pistols ones, of course, because we were talking and saying it's like, you know, you're not just a Sex Pistol, you're a musician. You played all these years. What well, is I'm what is the one for a musician? That's pushing it. But what is I the have a go at writing some songs every now and then. I think every now and then I come up with something that's all right. What what is the song that really makes you say, "Yeah"? After all this what, time, what, what like what I wrote. Um, did, uh, I, I like that song I did tonight on something towards the end. It's yeah. a very sort of personal kind of lyric. On something is like what people say when somebody's on drugs, you know. Yeah. And I'm not anymore. So that's kind of a sort of primal stream kind of song. Oh, not man, I'm really glad you brought that up. This is another thing. This is a reason why you got to buy his book. Him and Sid, they liked each other, man. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, we like to pretend that it, you're Hulk Hogan and he's Andre the Giant or some shit. But no, man, you guys hung out. You played a gig together. Oh. What the hell was that like? It was um, interesting, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it was a mad, wacky night. I don't remember too much about it, but I was told it was pretty damn good. <laughs> but I said to the guy who told me it was good, you know, why didn't you offer... He was a big record company guy, and he said, why didn't you offer us a deal? He said, Glenn, he was just all too out of it. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of the filth and the fury when it came out? Um, it was all right. It, it's, it's been two moves. There's been two movies made. One was a rock and roll swindle, and that was kind of Malcolm's story. And Filthy Luca, I thought, was kind of like John's side of the story because the guy who made it, Julian Temple, was too much of a John fan to be um, objective about it. Mm -hmm. There was something else that came out on the TV, which you can get on DVD, um, which is called The Make Making Nevermind the Bollocks. It's part of that classic it. album. So I think that's the most even handed thing. Yeah, I, th I think that's the best. Thing about the band. I think, uh, yeah, that's a that's definitely one of my favorite ones. I saw that right after I saw the Filth and the Fury, and it's amusing that in the Filth and the Fury, you, it's your silhouettes, and you can't really see anything. And then when you see like that, I'm like, wow, Steve Jones is old. <laughs> he's buff. Yeah, but he's, fu he's funny in that one as well. He's buff as hell. What's the one thing that always makes you? Cause where do you live right now? I'm not sure, man. Well, 
I Although I got I got an apartment in London. Okay, there you which go. Which my two young sons are looking after, so God knows what it's like. So it was quite funny actually, just before I come away. Mm. He's, my son's got a band called Dead and his singer lives there with my youngest son. And just before I come away, I let my mate Slim Jim Phantom stay there. So I came away and there's like Slim Jim and my two sons and the singer from his band there. And then a the few days before that, before Slim Jim got there, I was just going out to do some interviews about this new book I've got called Glenn Matlock's Filthy Luca scrapbook. And I'm, <laughs> there was a bang on the window. I opened the curtain because I was in a rush. I didn't even open the blinds. Clem Burke just come down the stairs and he was doing some uh, a radio session in the studio around the corner from me and the drums weren't set up so he popped around to say hi. So then my kids were getting up and he was like, it's Clem Burke, isn't it? <laughs> so it's kind of funny, you know. Sounds like an episode of the Rock and Roll Super Friends. <laughs> Like, no, I just I, not, I, I just, just I happen to be good, very good mates with two American drummers. You know. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much for there your you time. But I will say this: I'm sure. glad you enjoyed the show. But if you like the songs, and they all say, I think they work because they was all written on an acoustic guitar, not that one, but I had another one that was very similar with a round hole in the middle and some strings on it. Yeah. And they all come from that, so it's kind of what I'm doing. And there's more. I thought I'm going to go and I'm making new album soon. I'm talking to some quite um, hot shot players about it. So I think I'm going to, by the end of the year, I'll have a very interesting new album. I've got lots of new songs which I'm really pleased with. Well, it's nice so, to know that you have something yeah. to say after all this yeah. time as opposed to, you know, just reminiscing of old ideas. I'm not, I'm not. I don't like to do it. I just do a few festival songs because I know people. If I went to see David Bowie and he didn't do Heroes, I'd be. Something that pleases me, something that pleases me to no end is like when a bunch of guys are dressed up as Sid and stuff like that. And they're just kind of waiting around for you to play Anarchy in the UK all night and stuff like that. I'm just like, man, bro, well, they're not gonna get it. <laughs> no. Anyway, anyway, thanks for talking to us. Thanks for talking to us and say look Glenn. after yourselves. I'm Glenn Matlock and you're watching Season Zero. I'm Glenn Matlock and you're watching Season Zero. Or you just watch Season Zero. Or if this is gonna be cut up into little bits and then used as a trailer, then you're going to be watching Season Zero. Any of those combinations is fine by me. Uh, but do you know what? I'm going to go in because it's cold out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no right, see you later. Season Zero!